Paris. Paris. I'm so excited for the party. Not the big bed. Is this the big bed? Good morning. We have to wait. Oh my god, I look so crusty, but I have to film this intro. Um, so excuse me. But hello, if you're new to this channel, my name is Daisy, and if you're not, hi, welcome back. Um, for today's video, as you guys read by the title, I was in London and Paris two weeks ago, and I am so excited for you guys to watch this vlog because so many things happened, exciting and bad, so just watch what happens because it's a really fun one but happy new year's everyone i really hope you guys enjoyed your new year's as well the video just starts right off in london so let's get right into it hi we're here with paolo and grace and we're currently in london and it's so. our first time in london as well we're coming right now <laughs> why is she growling we're we all have different things to ask a question if you happy, girl. I'll change your mind anytime in this happy world. Let's go and kick it in with me and see what love is for. We came to London and we're just having Korean food, like literally last name. Not Korean. Korean. Mm -hmm. Oh, and Japanese. And Japanese. Mm -hmm. This girl is just eating chicken all day, every day. All day. Good morning, Putin. Eat chicken. Hola. Too close. Do it. Even after some disasters, we were making it work. But never did I ever think that you would do it. This is my crush. His name is Paolo. He did not date me, but he will one day. Bibimbap is a Korean word. Do you want to have French class with Sarah? Yes. Bibimbap is a Korean word. Do you want to have French class with Sarah? Yes. Bibimbap is a Korean word. I have four long nights this week. Trust that my kills, my kills, my kills. Get a nice spot, okay? This is Daisy's camera, and this is our chocolate. And <laughs> follow Daisy, best YouTuber of all time. And Grace, to. Uh, come on, arrête. guys so yesterday i didn't vlog much because we literally just got something to eat and then we just roamed around the streets like we didn't really do much grace is currently in the bathroom but today is our second full day and tomorrow is our last day together in london and then we're gonna head to paris so really is it already the last day yeah it's crazy but yesterday i got some stuff from glossier because we don't have it in canada and we can only just buy it online but the shipping is kind of expensive so I only got two things. I got the shade Puff for the blush and shade G11 for the stretch concealer. Okay, I'm going to say something in French, Daisy, and you have to let it in the vlog. Uh, what do we say? Okay, thank you, Daisy, for letting this. We love you. Uh, uh. Yeah, they look at TXT. <laughs> Fallen angel and everything. Yeah. I'm manifesting the good one for you. I feel your inside. Oh, what do you want? Like oh my God. Now we're heading to Subdued, which is a clothing brand that's not in Canada, so I'm really excited to check it out. Well, then, hello, I'll introduce myself. The name BC Hill, name is. Hi guys, we're back in our hotel room because I think we're going out tonight to a bar. I just got changed into some comfy shoes because Grace and I were gonna go get some Indian food and then we're gonna meet up with them to go to a bar or something. I don't think I'm gonna drink, but just for the vibes, you know. We were gonna go to this other place called this room, but the reservation wait time was like 40 minutes and I couldn't wait. I feel like this is just gonna end up as a eating vlog. We rented this 
bus. There's literally no one. Yeah, there's no one. <laughs> I love being rich. That's a big bed. Is this a big bed? It is. So pretty. Hi guys, a little update. I've made it to Paris. I was actually gonna vlog in the train right here, but I realized that my friends and I, we were all seated separately. So I just didn't want to pull up my camera when there was a completely random stranger next to me. But we have arrived at my friend Sarah's house and we're going to be spending the night here because we're going to be going to a New Year's Eve party. Some stuff has happened. So um, we got to her place a little later than we had expected, but the party is still going on and we're going to go get ready. How are you feeling? I'm feeling glad that we're all here safely. Hi. Hello, Cecilia. We have learned that Paris can be extremely unsafe at times. Yeah, very dangerous. If anyone is coming to Paris, be careful. Listen to him, please. And listen to her. <laughs> So basically what happened was from the Eurostar train station, we were gonna get onto the metro, but Grace got stuck in the door. Obviously she didn't know what to do because it was like her first hour ever being in Paris. And so I could see the shock in her face and I was like, okay, relax, relax. And so we got off at the next station and Sarah, because she lives in Paris, she went back to the previous station to pick up Grace. But while Grace was all alone for like five-ish minutes, her phone got stolen. It was so bad, but guess what? It gets even worse because we get onto the wrong train. So if we were supposed to go this way, we accidentally go this way. And this way is to like the unsafe areas of Paris. So we get there and we're like, oh shit, everyone is staring at us and talking in French about robbing us because we're just clueless tourists with our four luggages in our hands. And Sarah and Paolo do live in Paris, but they still had luggages. We looked weak. So Sarah and Paolo were freaking out because they can literally understand what they were saying. The group of guys would like look at us and they would all walk towards us. And this was on New Year's Eve. So there were no Ubers. It took us like 45 minutes to get one. It wasn't even Uber. It was like this. It was like this European version of Uber. I don't remember the name of it. And it was so expensive and it was so hard to get. And even the driver was like, what are you guys doing here? Like, you guys shouldn't be here. Don't ever come here. He was like, this is so unsafe. Once we got into that car, we all cried because we were so scared. Like, oh. The only reason why the situation didn't get any worse was because we went into a shop um, and just stayed with the two guys in there. And we were safe for like the last 40-ish minutes or so. We felt like sheeps surrounded by wolves. It was really, really scary. Her place is so lovely. Wait, the lighting is... Actually, I'm on vlog right now. I'm just like, yeah. I need to get ready. Okay. We have approximately like 20 minutes to do our makeup because we still need to get changed into our... <laughs> we gotta blur this, but shit went that one, guys. <laughs> we're good. Mm, it's so beautiful. Yeah, we're good. We're good, we're good. I look so gross to you. Me too. So we're gonna be partying tonight and tomorrow Sarah and I are going to be filming this short video that's gonna be really cool and we're also just gonna enjoy Paris for one day and then on the second we're gonna be going back to London to just enjoy one to two more days and then we're gonna fly back. Guys, we're so much in a rush. Like everyone's running around the house. And when I get there, I'm going to be vlogging it with my camcorder and my phone because I think it'll be really cute. Okay, I'm almost done with my makeup, but I'm also gonna be using some glitter. Like, if you guys know how I do my makeup on a normal daily basis, I never use eyeshadow. Um. We're all ready for the party. This is my outfit. We're all extremely late. Is it heavy? It is actually, but everything from you here. So excited for the party. Must be something. 
some kind of curve because apparently the station that we need to get off at is closed. So we're just at this random station. And we can't walk. We can't walk. Because, yeah, we need to get there before the countdown. I hate myself, but I'm so sexy tonight. was racing but never felt my time was wasting it's like french elevator music no it's like french christmas music <laughs> french elevator music <laughs> yeah the story that we couldn't tell before because like we were all still so shocked the day we landed in paris literally within like an hour uh, Grace's phone got stolen, so we were all just freaking out. But it's okay, because like, it's obviously not okay, but tomorrow we're gonna go get her a new phone in London, because we're going back tomorrow. We have to get it. Yeah, we have to get it. Mm, so good. Now I'm gonna move to Sarah's place. We're at the other Sarah's house, but we're all gonna split up now. It's our last day night together. Do you wanna say bye? No, because I think oh wait, you're gonna... bye. 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 Everyone, it was a pleasure to spend all this time with you, with all these pretty girls. I'm busy. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you so much for coming to my house. I'm so honored. Even, even if I'm a little bit like messy, you know. Come home safely, okay? Bye. 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 Hi, guys. So, we are back in London. Like, what is life? Why am I back here? But Paris was super, super fun. And Happy New Year. It's 2023. I didn't vlog yesterday. We actually got here yesterday, but I didn't vlog because we got here really late and we just relaxed. I don't even think this blazer suits my sweater, but, but I'm going to be taking it off anyway, so I don't think it matters. We are going to the Ritz for their afternoon tea, so I'll see you guys there because I think it's going to be a really cool experience. So 
apparently the pianist here is related to Frank Sinatra, and that's why I wanted to come because I'm a really big fan of him. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's our very first time trying scones in London. <laughs> we were like, we can't leave this place without trying scones, so thank you. The food is pretty good. I mean, it should be good. It's <laughs> only the price we're eating. We're just at Louis Vuitton because Grace is looking for a wallet to get her mom. She's such a sweet daughter. He's so bad. What was I thinking ordering this? I thought I was like grown or something. And here's Grace. I'm so tired. <laughs> We just got back from dinner and we had a few drinks and the food was pretty mid but it was okay But what we're gonna be doing for the rest of the night is just packing and getting ready for a flight tomorrow Because we're leaving and we're going back home because school literally starts in like less than 48 hours for me Yeah, i'm not gonna film myself packing because it's quite a hassle because i'm so tired From fortnum and mason i got a bunch of tea and biscuits this is like a tea set with 120 tea bags. Super cool. I got this jar of honey that was made in France. Uh, these pistachio clotted cream biscuits. Grace's friend asked her to bring her this, so I got one as well because I thought that it would be good. I got some jam as well. Last time I got some jam from Paris and it was really good, so hopefully these good as well i also got this royal blend tea bags and more biscuits but look at this it like oh e and i also got the polar bear sweater which i'll show you guys again look at us this really cute sticker and grace is just shocked because she spent way too much money today and honestly i'm like that too but it looks like this it is super cute and i can't wait to wear this to school because it's such like a campus uni sweater i love it so much but i really hope you guys enjoyed this video this trip was so so much fun so glad that i got to meet my friends again and meet paolo for the first time he's literally such a sweet person and so funny like i have so many funny videos of him but i can't wait to see them again and i miss them already but i hope you guys enjoyed this video and we're gonna go pack now because yeah i hope you guys stay tuned for next week's video because it's gonna be another uni vlog i'm excited to make more uni vlogs for you guys so yes i love you all and happy new year's and see you in school bye guys woke up at 11 o'clock i ain't got no job what the hell should i do today this feel like some i don't give a fuck oh my god shut the fuck up i ain't hearing what you gotta say <laughs>